What's up guys, it's Nathan here, back with another video. It is currently 12.57 a.m. Now I'm making this video, and I'm just going to show you guys how to get free Sunapes X themes, or how, and how to change your Sunapes X themes. So, the first two things you want to do is you want to open up your folder with Sunapes X in it, and you just want to have this open over here. You also want to have a folder open of downloads, and kind of just put it to the left. So once you have that open, you're going to go to their Discord server, the SynapseX Discord server. And I should you should already have it. If you have it, okay, never mind, that would sound really stupid. You should already be in the Discord server if you have Synapse and if you ran Synapse before. Um, and the way you do this is you just pick a theme, pick any theme you want. Let's see. I think... What theme do I want? Mm, I don't really know what theme I want, but I'll just. I'll just take this one. So, what you want to do is you want to download theme wpf.json and when this one comes up, you just see this download right here. It's already out as a notepad file, but if it's as like a different type of file, what you want to do? Um, so you download this, and you know, let me just okay. Uh, and then you download the editor.html. See right here. What you want to do is you want to go to your downloads, and the most recent one that you downloaded, you're going to click open with, and then. Mine says Notepad because I've already opened it with Notepad, but if you click Choose Another App and you click More Apps, you can click Notepad, click OK, and make sure to just like open it as a Notepad and then like save it or whatever. Then what you do is you go to the Synapse X folders, you open up Bin, and you just take this. Let me read. Uh, let me see, is editor in here? Yeah, editor. Okay, let me just rename this to editor so that I just replaces it. Yes, okay. No. Rename this to editor. Editor 2 to editor 3. No. Okay, let me rename this then. Editor 2. Rename. Just rename this editor. Then we're going to take this, drag it into here, and then click replace this file. And then we're going to take the theme WPF, drag it in here, and click replace this file. And okay, I don't need this. I think I'm just going to delete this because I already have my theme loaded. And then after that, you just want to go back out of the bin, open up Synapse X, and it should have your theme imported in and loading. We did it correctly. Yep, here we go. Anonymous X, which is the one that I downloaded here. And look at that. We've got our custom background. Go to script hub. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.